Hey guys, welcome to your first Halo 3 map modding tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm basically just going to get you set up with everything you need in order to begin Halo 3 map modding. In order to do Halo 3 map modding, you must have a JTAG Xbox or have a development kit. Either one is fine, but it's a lot easier and cheaper to get a JTAG. So, basically, with Halo 3 map modding, you can do anything you want in Halo 3. You can change what your like character looks like, you can shoot different things out of your guns, and those are just some like easy examples of what you can do with Halo 3 map modding. But anyways, the first thing that you're going to need to begin is Dash Launch. So I'll provide a download link for this in the description. And when you download it, you'll get um, a RAR file with something like this inside of it. And we're only going to need this installer right here, so just go ahead and drag that onto your desktop. I'm just going to rename it to Dash Launch so that I know what it is. Alright. And you're also going to need to have some way of getting files from your computer onto your JTAG. Obviously, you probably already have a method of doing this, but in case you don't, you can just use a USB flash drive. And it doesn't have to be configured for the Xbox, so just drag that right onto your um, flash drive. And then once you have it on your flash drive, just go ahead, unplug it, and plug it into your JTAG. Alright, so once you have it plugged into your JTAG, um, just go onto your JTAG and you should see um, the contents of your USB drive in XEX menu. And if you don't have XEX menu, well, just go on YouTube and type in how to get XEX menu. It's pretty easy and there's a million tutorials on how to do it. So anyways, we see our dash launch folder right here. So we're just going to want to click A on it to go inside of it and just go ahead and run the default XEX. So let's click A on it. And you'll see it's running. Just press A to install Dash Launch. And then it says it's done, so just press A to shut down. Your Xbox will just shut off, and Dash Launch is installed. That's all you need to do. So I'm just going to turn it right back on. And that's all we need to do for Dash Launch. Okay, so once you have Dash Launch installed, the next step is ripping Halo 3 to your hard drive or to your JTAG. So what you're going to need to do is basically just go in XEX menu, go into your games folder or wherever you have it installed, just press Y, and then click copy DVD. And then your disk drive will open, just put Halo 3 in, and then it'll just rip Halo 3 to your hard drive. Now, once you have Halo 3 ripped to your hard drive, you're going to need to have um, three XEXs, and XEXs are basically just executable files for um, Xbox, and you're going to need ones that will allow you to edit Halo 3 in real time, meaning you can just press something on your computer and then it will change something in the game, so you don't have to like edit the map file and then put it on your hard drive or something like that. This makes it just much easier. So you're going to need um, three XEXs. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to provide a download link in the description to these because if you don't own Halo 3, then it's illegal to like have these, so you'll have to find these on your own. But anyways, once you have all three of these, just go ahead and drag these onto your USB. Alright, so let me just get to my USB. Uh, Alright, so now I'm just going to drag all these XCXs onto there on my USB. Alright, so once you have all three XEXs onto your USB flash drive, just go ahead and plug that back into your JTAG. Alright, so once it's plugged into your JTAG, you should see that now you have um, all your XEXs right on there. So what you're going to want to do is press Y over them, select copy, just copy that XEX, and you have to do this one by one, but anyways, then press X, then go back to your hard drive, scroll down to where you ripped Halo 3, and in here you should see, a, well you shouldn't have these two XEXs, but just press Y and then click paste, and then it will ask you if you want to overwrite it, just click confirm, and it will just overwrite it, and you're going to have to do that for all the XEXs, but I'm only going to do it once because I already have them all. 
Okay, so now before we actually launch up Halo 3 here, we're going to have to get the IP address of our JTAG so that we can tell the program that we're going to be using to edit the map files where to send the information. So what we're going to want to do is just click RB and we should be taken to a configuration screen. And you should see down here is your JTAG's IP address. Just go ahead and copy that down into a notepad or something like that. I already have mine memorized though, so I'm not going to do that. But Alright, so now the next thing that we're going to have to do is get the map file that we actually want to edit. So let's go into the maps folder right here and you should see all the maps for Halo 3. Now in order to copy it over to your computer just select the map that you want to use and as you can see all the maps that we're going to be edit or all the maps inside of this folder aren't the same as the ones like as their name in the game but uh, the one I'm going to be using for th this example is Shrine and that's uh, Sandtrap so I'm just going to use that so just click Y over that and click copy and it will copy that then press X on your controller to go to your USB and then just press Y and then paste that right in there. Now I'm not going to do this because I already have them all on my computer but after you've pasted it you can obviously just put the USB back into your computer and drag the map file onto your computer. Alright so now that we have all that we can actually go back to our hard drive and play Halo. So just go down to your RTE launcher.xex and press A on it to launch up Halo 3. And it should, um, Halo 3 should load up. If it didn't load up, that means that you didn't install Dash Launch correctly. So just go back to an earlier part, point in this tutorial where we talk about Dash Launch. Alright. So now just go over to Forge and select the map that you dragged onto your computer. I dragged over Sand Trap, so let's use that. Let's wait for it to load here. And while this map is loading, um, we're going to need to use a program called Alteration in order to be modding our map files. And I'll provide a download link for this in the description. So just download Alteration and run it. And make sure all the DLLs and stuff are inside of the same folder as the application itself. So now with the IP address that we got from our um, JTAG, we're just going to want to go over to um, uh, Edit, go to Settings, and then where it says XDK name, just go ahead and type in your JTAG's um, IP address. As you can see, I already have mine typed in there, so I'm not going to do that, but just type it in. And then once you have it all typed in, just go ahead and exit it out of this window. It will save automatically. Now you're just going to want to go up to File and click Open Map. And then just open that map that you dragged onto your um, computer. I already have all the maps for Halo 3 already on my computer. But just navigate to the one that you're editing. We're going to be editing Shrine, which like I said before, is Sandra. Just go ahead and open up Shrine. And as you can see right here, this is what we're going to be used to be editing. I'm just going to maximize the window so we can see it a lot better and drag this out right here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go on over here and click this Tags tab. And right here you'll be presented with a lot of folders. But just scroll down until you see the Weapon folder and click the little plus sign to expand it. And right here are all the weapons in the game. So just select the weapon that you want to edit. I'm going to be editing the assault rifle. And as you can see, all this is displayed in a grid and it's really hard to edit and you, you're probably not going to want to edit it this way. So what you're going to want to do is go over to editors and click meta, meta editor and just select that. And now you, it'll be presented in a much easier way to edit. And basically this is just all the properties for the assault rifle like this right here, the object's properties, and we'll be getting into this later, but these are just, this is just everything, all the information for the assault rifle. So just scroll down until you see those barrels right here, and continue scrolling until you see projectile underneath that, and the projectile is what this weapon shoots. So right here, if we click this little down arrow, we can see we can change that to anything that we would like. 
Now, before we change it, let's just go ahead back to our game and start up Halo or start up this map right here. Alright. So, now when we spawn, you see we have an assault rifle. So, let's make it so this assault rifle shoots rockets. And as you can see right now, it just shoots um, plain old assault rifle bullets. So, what we're going to want to do is change the projectile to um, a rocket. So, as you can see right here, there's the rocket. And to select it, just click on it. And now, once we've changed it and we go back to our game, you can see it didn't change. Well, what we're going to have to do is go down to Poke and click Poke Changes. And that'll just change all the changes that we've made currently in this, uh, under this uh, weapon right here. So, now that we've poked the changes, let's go back to our game and see what our assault rifle shoots. Rockets. Perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on just setting up your um, JTAG to do Halo map modding. So, see you guys.